Hey, this is Jay from Cubal Gaming, and today I'm going to show you what to do with skins in Rust. There are several different ways to get skins, and the first is simply to get them from the in-game item store. Go to the Rust menu and press the item store button. You'll be able to see some of the items that people have made, but not very many of them. The second way to get skins is to go to the Steam Market and browse them. Now personally, this is the way I buy skins, but it doesn't really matter which way you do it. But with Steam, you'll find many more skins and it loads faster. So this is actually the best way to find skins. The last way you can get skins is actually by designing your own. Designing them yourself is a long process that I won't go into in this video. Even if you do design one, you can't even use it unless it's approved to go onto the Steam Workshop, so it's not really worth doing. But if you did make a good skin that got approved, you'd get a portion of any money that the skin makes on the store. If you're a hardcore Rust fan and you know anything about designing these skins, you might be able to make some extra Steam credit to buy games or other skins with. So after you've bought some skins and see them in your inventory, how do you actually apply them? Well, the first thing you gotta do is restart the game. Skins don't always show up until you leave the game and come back, so a restart always makes them work. So you'll notice the skins aren't on your item by default. You actually have to apply them to the item to make it work. The first way to apply a skin is to select whatever skin you'd like when you craft the item. The skin you apply when crafting is not permanent, so you can always change this later. The next way to apply skins is to put the item into a repair bench. Then you select the skin you want and apply it. This doesn't cost anything and can be done as many times as you like. The repair bench is the only way to apply skins to uncraftable items such as the LR300 assault rifle. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about applying skins in Rust. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe, and check out our other helpful videos.